Hello everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation using variation of parameters, part 3. So, let's get going. Problem solve y double dash minus 3 y dash plus 2 y in equals to sine of e power minus x or d square minus 3 d plus 2 into y equal to sine of e power minus x using variation of parameters method. So, here we are given a differential equation of order 2. Given differential equation y double dash minus 3 y dash plus 2 y equal to sine of e power minus x. Okay, consider it as equation 1. We can write y double dash as d square y by dx square minus 3 into write y dash as dy by dx plus 2y equal to sine of e power minus x. Now we can write d square y by dx square as capital D square y minus 3 into write dy by dx as capital dy plus 2y equal to sine of e power minus x. Now take y common from all the three terms of LHS. We'll get d square minus 3d plus 2 into y equal to sine of e power minus x considered as equation number 2 which is in operator form. Say f of d into y equal to sum r of x where f of d equal to d square minus 3d plus 2 and r of x equals to sine of e power minus x. Now we will find the solution of this equation using y equal to yc plus yp. We will find yc using the auxiliary equation and later we will find yp, okay, using some formula. So, let's begin with the auxiliary equation. The auxiliary equation is f of m equal to 0. Where f of m equal to, we have f of d, d square minus 3d plus 2, right? Let's replace d of uh, differential operator by m. So, that will get f of m equal to m square minus 3m plus 2. Then the auxiliary equation becomes m square minus 3m plus 2 equal to 0. Now, we need to find roots to this equation. Split minus 3m as minus m minus 2m plus 2 equals to 0. Now take m common from the first two terms, we will get m times m minus 1. Now take 2 minus 2 common from the next two terms, we will get minus 2 times m minus 1 equal to 0. Now take m minus 1 common from these two terms, we will get m minus 1 of m minus 2 equal to 0. Now we equate each factor to 0. From m minus 1 equal to 0, we will get m equal to 1 and from m minus 2 equal to 0, we will get m equal to 2. Then the roots are m equal to 1 and 2 right which are real and distinct the roots are real and distinct we know that when two roots are real and distinct say m1 and m2 are real and distinct then the complementary function looks like c1 into e power one constant into e power one root into x plus another constant into e power another root into x Let's now write the complementary function to our problem. Y c equals to c1 e power 1 root into x plus c20 e power another root into x. Then y c equals to c1 e power x plus c2 e power 2x is the required complementary function to our problem. So we got yc let yp equal to just replace the constants arbitrary constants or parameters c1 and c2 by functions of x a and b then we'll get yp equal to a e power x plus b e power 2x where a and b are functions of x and we can compare yc with 
सी वन यू प्लस सी टू बी और वाई पे विथ ए यू प्लस बी फ्रॉम दिस विल गेट यू एंड वी सी इफ यू कंपेयर दिस टू यूल गेट यू इक्वल टू पॉर एक्स एंड वी इक्वल टू पॉर माइनस टू एक्स लाइक वाइज If you compare these two, you'll get u equal to e power x and v equal to e power two x. You'll get the same thing. U equal to e power x and v equal to e power two x. Okay. And here a is given by a and b are given by some formula. A is given by minus v into r of x by u v one minus v u one into dx. And b is given by u into r of x by u v1 minus v1 into dx. This is u. Okay. We are having u v and r of x. Let's find a b. Again, here we need to observe that u v1 minus v1 exists in both the formula, right? So let's begin with u v1 minus v1, and later we'll find a b and y p. Finally, we'll go for general solution. U v one minus v one. This equals to u into v one is nothing but derivative of v with respect to x. Minus v into u one is nothing but derivative of u with respect to x. Where u is e power x into d by dx of v is e power two x minus e power two x into d by dx of e power x u. Right, this is equal to e power x into derivative of e power two x with respect to x is two into e power two x minus e power two x into derivative of e power x with respect to x is e power x. This gives us two into e power two x into e power x minus e power two x into e power x. Since we are having e power two x into e power x, right? Just add the powers, we will get e power two x plus x equals to e power three x. This gives us two into e power three x. Minus e power three x. This equals to e power three x. Two e power three x minus e power three x is e power three x. Therefore, u v one minus v u one equal to e power three x. Let's now find a. A is given by integral minus v into r of x by u v one minus v u one into dx. This equals to Integral minus v is e power two x into r of x is sine of e power minus x by u v one minus v one is e power three x into dx. Again, we can split this as minus integral one by e power three x into e power two x into sine of e power minus x dx. This equals to minus integral reciprocal of e power minus e power three x is e power minus three x into e power two x sine of e power minus x into dx. Right? Since e power minus three x into e power two x is it can be written as minus e power minus three x plus two x, which is equal to e power minus x. Right? So this gives us minus integral e power minus x sine of e power minus x into dx. Let e power minus x equals to some t. Let e power minus x equals to t. Now differentiate on both sides with respect to x. Derivative of e power minus x with respect to x is minus e power minus x equals to dt by dx. From this we'll get minus e power minus x into dx equals to dt, right? Or e power minus x into dx equals to minus dt. Of e power minus x into e power minus x into dx. Okay. Now we can replace e power minus x with t. We'll get sine t into e power minus x dx can be replaced with minus dt. This gives us integral minus into minus plus integral sine t dt. Since sine t dt is minus cos t, which is equals to minus since t equal to e power minus x so we are going to replace it then we'll get a equal to minus e power minus x so we got a therefore a equal to minus cos of e power minus x 
let's now find b b is given by integral u into r of x by u v1 minus v1 into dx this equals to integral u e power x into r of x is sin of e power minus x by u v1 minus v1 is e power 3x into dx right again we can split this as 1 by e power 3x into e power x into sin of e power minus x into dx we can write reciprocal of e power 3x as e power minus 3x into e power x sin of e power minus x into dx since e power minus 3x into e power x is equal to e power minus 3x plus x which is equal to e power minus 2x so let's replace this with e power minus 2x and we'll get b equal to integral e power minus 2x sine of e power minus x into dx okay let e power minus x equals to t now differentiate on both sides with respect to x it's not necessary to do this again okay we have already done this now derivative of e power minus x is minus e power minus x equal to derivative of t with respect to x is dt by dx from this we'll get minus e power minus x into dx equals to dt or e power minus x dx equals to minus dt right so we can replace e power minus x dx with minus dt and e power x with t but here we are having e power minus 2x so let's split this into e power minus x into e power x now we'll write e power minus 2x as e power x into e power sorry e power minus x into e power minus x into sine of e power minus x into dx then b equal to integral e power minus x i'll take one integral one e power x sorry one e power minus x into sine of e power minus x again another e power minus x here beside dx so that i can replace e power minus x dx with minus dt this becomes just replace e power minus x with t we'll get t integral t sine t into replace e power minus x dx with minus dt this gives us minus integral t sine t dt so in order to evaluate this we'll use integration by parts formula integration by parts formula says that integral u dv equal to uv minus integral v d here the integrand is of the form polynomial product of polynomial and trigonometric function right let's consider polynomial function as u and the remaining part as d we have u equal to t and dv equal to sin t dt here let's differentiate on both sides with respect to t we'll get du by dt equal to derivative of t with respect to t is 1 from this we'll get du equal to dt and here let's integrate on both sides to find v we'll get v equal to minus cos t now coming to integration by parts formula integral u into dv equal to u into v t into minus cos t minus integral of v minus cos t into du is dt it is minus t cos t minus into minus plus integral cos t dt this is equal to minus t cos t plus integral cos t dt is sin t right let's now replace the integral with the result obtained this gives us minus of minus t cos t plus sin t right 
which is equals to t cos t minus sin t. Since t equal to e power minus x, so let's replace it. We'll get e power minus x cos of e power minus x minus sin of e power minus x, which is the required b. Therefore, b equal to e power minus x cos of e power minus x minus sin of e power minus x. We got a and b as well. So let's now write yp. yp is given by a e power x plus b e power 2x, right? Let's replace a and b where a is minus cos of e power minus x into e power x plus b. e power minus x cos of e power minus x minus sine of e power minus x into e power 2x. This gives us minus e power x cos e power minus x plus e power 2x into e power minus x cos of e power minus x minus e power 2x into sine of e power minus x. So here we are having e power 2x into e power minus x. Since e power 2x into e power minus x can be written as e power 2x minus x which gives us e power x. Let's replace e power 2x into e power minus x with e power x then we'll get yp equal to minus e power x cos of e power minus x plus e power x cos of e power minus x minus e power 2x sine of e power minus x. So here minus e power x cos e power minus x and plus e power x cos of e power minus x gets cancelled and this results yp equal to minus e power 2x or sine of e power minus x. So we got yp here and already we have yc. Let's now write the general solution using yc equals to, sorry, y equal to yc plus yp. Therefore, the general solution is given by y equal to yc plus yp. Then y equal to yc, c1 e power x plus c2 e power 2x and yp is minus e power 2x into sine of e power minus x. This completes the problem. So this is all for now. I hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.